So guys, for the first step, we're going to head over to search and type in settings. Click on it. Once on it, we're going to search right here for notifications and actions. And I click on this one that comes up. And then you want to turn off the notifications. Once you do that, we're going to head over to the privacy and security tab. And then you want to click on general. You want to make sure that all of this is turned off. Then we're going to go back to privacy and security again. And then click on speech. And then you want to turn this off as well. Go back again. And then head over to diagnosis and feedback. And the everything here is also turned off as well. Then we're going to scroll down and go to location. And if you don't want certain apps to use your location, you can turn off location services right here. You could also do the same for camera and for everything else down here. For the second step, we're going to head over to search and type in task manager. Click on it. Once you're on it, we're going to click on startup apps. Then you want to disable all the apps so you don't want to start when your computer turns on. The way to do that is by clicking on it and then click on disable right here. And then the status would have changed disabled. For the next step, we're going to head over to search and type in CMD. Then we're going to run it as administrator. And then click on yes. Once you're on this, we're going to type in SFC space forward slash scan now and click on enter. Then you want to run this scan. We can run it in the background as you do the next steps in this video. For the next step, we're going to head over to search and type in disk cleanup. Click on it. Once you're on this, you want to select the drive that you want to clean up. You can do this for all your drives. So I'm going to start my C drive and I'm going to click on OK. Then you want to make sure that everything here has been highlighted and then click on cleanup system files. And then select the same drive again, click on OK. Wait for this to load. Then you want to make sure that everything here has been highlighted again and then click on OK. And then click on delete files. You can repeat that method for all of your drives. For the next step, we're going to head over to search and type in defragment and optimize drives. Click on it. Once you're on it, you want to select your drive and then click on optimize. For the next step, we're going to head over to search and type in add or remove programs. Click on it. Once you're on this, you want to delete all the programs that you don't need. The way to do that is by clicking on the three dots and then click on uninstall. And then click on uninstall again. For the next step, we're going to head over to search and type in check for updates. Click on it. Once you're on this, we're going to check for updates and do the updates that we may have. For the next step, we're going to head over to search and type in virus and threat protection. Click on it. Once you're on it, we're going to click on scan options. And then first, you want to run a full scan. Click on scan now. Once you complete the full scan, you want to run a Microsoft Defender offline scan. Click on scan now. And then click on scan. Once you complete everything in this video, you want to reset your computer. But if your computer is still slow, it means that it's a hardware issue. So you're just going to have to upgrade your computer. 